the bay where without the suspended David McNamee, Colin McMenamin, who had been a doubt, made the starting lineup. The influential Chris Boyd returned for Achilles' side that's had an encouraging start to the season. Another poor support inside the City Stadium, hugely disappointing for Alan Preston and his players, who nevertheless contrived to carve out the first opportunity for McMenamin. Achilles' response saw them come within the thickness of Roddy McKenzie's knee from taking the lead, his save from Boyd keeping the scoreline blank at half-time. Alan Johnson has been growing an in influence for Killy, and he came so close to giving them the lead. Johnson, however, still looking for his first goal for the Ayrshire club. Boyd will still be wondering how he didn't score his second of the season. He missed from whites of the eyes distance. When Killy did take the lead, it was from a much more conventional route. David Lilly on the end of the free kick. Lilly got goal side of his defender and left McKenzie a spectator. Nor can Jim Jeffries be totally pleased with his side's victory, not when Livy were able to scythe through the Kilmarnock defence with such apparent ease. Sighs of relief on the bench, no doubt. Cheers coming up for the bench after Johnson's run led to a second goal, scored by Danny Invincible for his fourth goal in three games. And it's a run that's taken Killy to join second place in the league. Killy hoping to keep intact their cloak of invincibility for next week's meeting with Aberdeen. If you can get all your points in early, you get, um, you get a lift and a bit of confidence for it and uh, now we'll look forward to next week again. Maintaining their 100% record, Aberdeen joined by Kilmarnock in second place, while Rangers in an unaccustomed fourth, some...